As we just mentioned, Sunday is National Book Lovers Day, but around here, as you know by now, we really enjoy food. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true, the understatement of the year. So this morning we're putting together a meal inspired by some of our favorite children's books. And here with us uh, to give us some ideas, Amanda Yankee Sauer from Thank Whole Foods. You. Thank you for coming in this yeah, morning. Thanks Hi. For us. Smells good in here. You know, we've got a few different recipes that I think are going to be really okay. good. And they're based on children's books, um, but you can just as easily do something with teens too. But basically, we think it's um, a nice connection, especially as you get to the end of the summer, mm -hmm. to get those kids kind of still excited about reading and geared up into right. yeah. so the school they're, year. They're tired of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So mm -hmm. what's more fun than pairing it with some foods that okay. go along with the book? So what have you got so, here? So for today, for the first one, we've got a taco dip, Midwestern staple, mm -hmm. um, to go with uh, Dragon Loves Tacos. Ah, which is okay. mm -hmm. a really wonderful children's book okay. and it's a really funny book too so it talks about again all the different things you can put on tacos so we mm -hmm. thought why not pair it with something a little bit different and a taco dip so we just mixed in for our base mm -hmm. equal parts cream cheese and sour cream in which is a taco yes. seasoning packet mm -hmm. so really easy things that kids can do on their own too to kind of experiment and kind of play around with flavors if mm -hmm. they want you could also put in some taco sauce so depending on how spicy they like mm -hmm. it and then so I'll start Putting through there. My kids like tacos because they can all customize. Right. Mm -hmm. They do better when they can customize yeah. their own plate. And we you have can. Taco Tuesday. Do you? Literally. Yes. Yes. Every, every Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Taco well, I Tuesday. I thought you were going to say every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day is Taco well, Tuesday. Tacos. If I was single, probably <laughs> every day tacos. Well, mm -hmm. now is a good time, too, because we've got our gardens growing. Right. So you can also use that as a talking point with mm -hmm. kids, too, and get them excited about what... Um, different foods are growing in the mm -hmm. garden. So yeah, then they just get to like pick the different things that go on top. Okay, and what do you have here? Veggies. So that? this is just sh shredded lettuce. Okay. So just an easy way to sneak in the greens. I always try to do spinach. Oh, I that's a good too. idea. Yeah. I always do spinach, yeah. And but it doesn't do... have the crunch sometimes, it's the lettuce. Yeah, yeah. that's true. the crunchy lettuce. <laughs> and you can do kale. You know, mm -hmm. we love kale. That's true. You could just chop up little bits of it and mix it in, right. too. So you just kind of sneak it in. They see the iceberg lettuce, but it's just got some mm -hmm. good stuff hidden mm -hmm. in there, too. We have some onions. Yeah, thank you. So a little bit of onions. I know not all kids like onions, but mm -hmm. some kids do. Why do you uh, choose the purple over like the regular you know, Vidalia? It's a lot of uh, cooking is about color, mm -hmm. especially with kids too. We like to say to eat a rainbow. Yep. So if you're going to eat foods of different colors, that usually means you're getting different vitamins and nutrients mm -hmm. in too. And plus it just makes it fun yeah. when it's pretty and kind of nice to look at too. We have about sure. 30 seconds left. Oh, awesome. So, so we top it cheese. off and then for a little bit of extra fun, you can even add some flair. So you got your oh. dragon here. My God. Which is super fun. <laughs> Seriously? You can put, like, little chips in there so you get a back going. And oh, then you can even ridiculous. make a little homemade salsa for a teacher present for going back to school. Because in Dragons Love Tacos, they make mild salsa because dragons, yeah. fire breathing, yeah. don't want the hot salsa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so genius. different fun things you can do. Okay, and then you can also do the olives yeah. or whatever. Yeah, You've you got all the olives, stuff over here as well. All kinds of different little toppings. sauces if you want to drizzle on This top. is easy, yeah. easy stuff. Okay, easy. and then also another way, like I like this. You mentioned kale. Yes, look at this. Kale chips. Kale chips. What mm -hmm. easier way to get ingredients yeah. in a that's chip? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alternate little I'm colors. sure my kids would eat that. Right. You don't tell if them I hand them a piece of kale, they would be like, eh. Right. No. Very good. Just make them easy. Okay, all right. So what do you call this? So this is just a taco dip, so a dragon taco dip. A dragon taco dip. For dragon you, you loves tacos. You have to tacos. have that, you know, the extreme names yeah, for the children. Yeah, exactly. Make okay. it exciting. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Celebrating National Book Lovers Day a bit early and with a food twist. We're putting together a meal inspired by some of our favorite children's book. And here again with us is Amanda Yankee Sauer with some ideas. What book are we featuring this time? All right. So now we are on to dessert. So we have Pie in the Sky, which is a really cute little book about a father and son who are going through and talking about the fruit trees in their backyard. Okay. So a really nice way, you know, it ends up being a cherry tree in the mm -hmm. end of this book. But really any fruit tree that you have in the back of your own yard, again, it's mm -hmm. about that connection to the foods that you're growing and how to prepare them then in a fun and easy meal. So we're gonna make some hand pies today. Okay. So we're doing this it. This looks hard. Right? Yeah. Well, and we're doing it the easy way. Again, there's okay. always ways you can do your favorite um, pie crust recipe mm -hmm. um, from scratch, or you can just buy the rolled out pre-made doughs, which is what we did we'll here do today too. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much time do we have? <laughs> so um, with this, you can again use like a circular cookie cutter mm -hmm. if you have it. But again, if you have just a small circular bowl anywhere. Mm -hmm. That works just as good too. I'm a fan of use whatever you've got. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna cut the pie crust okay. into little round shapes. 
And then we have, um, we did a little twist. We have some great recipes at wholefoodsmarket.com. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the ham pie recipe, but we added cream cheese instead of a flour as a thickener, and it's Wisconsin, so you have to add uh -huh. a little dairy. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> and it's, so it's really fun. So we just mix this in with a little um, canned cherries? cherry filling. And then you can just toss in, again, you can pit um, some beautiful cherries from your backyard, right. or these are from Michigan. We've got great ones in Dora County. Or you can buy the frozen kind, too. Okay. Um, then you've got some nice whole cherries mm -hmm. that you can dash in there as well. Okay. And then just mix that on up. Look at that. Now there's just a couple cherries. in there, but then we get some amazing. nice, okay. right? And then, and then you, you just, just put a little dollop in the middle. Just a little guy. Yeah, I need to yeah, get, get a little cherry yeah, in there. Yeah, because you know you just don't you want to be. Have, you don't want to disappoint. You don't want to just have the. Okay. Although then you just have a cheese pie. That's okay. Good. That's true. And then you're just gonna try to lift this off. Again, this might be a little moist. Mm -hmm. but you're just gonna lift that okay. guy off, and then again, the kids can just have fun with pressing this around. Oh, that's easy. Oh, or you get a yeah. fork, right? And then you just uh -huh. make so the little, easy. the little um, mm -hmm. marks around there to seal it shut. And then you're just gonna take a little heavy whipping cream okay. and just brush that on the top before you put it in the oven. 375 for about, about a half an hour whenever it's golden brown. And you okay. can put some granulated sugar or even crush up some cookies. I was cookies. gonna say, is this yeah. the, yeah, that's this is the, the best raw sugar. sugar. It's so good yeah. in your Ever. coffee too. That is my fabulous. Favorite. And okay. then otherwise you can do little ginger snaps or something on top too. Mm -hmm. And just once it's golden brown, um, and they're really good. And these are kind of like morning tarts too, because mm -hmm. they're easy for a breakfast on the go. Maybe not the healthiest, but definitely you know something that you made from home from scratch that you can feel not good about. Not bad, like fruit in there. In the car. There's fruit. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's healthy. Hand -held. Patty and I can justify anything. <laughs> yeah, you really can. That's what I like. Okay, so you can really do like peaches, yep. apples, yeah, blueberries, anything. Yeah, anything. Anything that you have fresh or you get at the farmer's market or at Whole Foods, anywhere that it's, you know, ripened in season is the best place So to you go. just took cherries and you mix it with cream cheese. Yep. And that's your filling. Yep, and just well, mixed it up. Know. Isn't that I good? like things with three ingredients or less. Yeah, yeah. And I have to give a shout out quick too for Monona okay. Library helped us out with our book selections today. So all right. great libraries all around town to check mm -hmm. out and head in. Like they said before the rain starts uh -huh. and All right. book day. Thank you, Winona Library. Yay. And thank you, Amanda. Thank Appreciate you. it. Nice to see you again. Yeah, good to yeah. see you.